Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today, I'm going to make a hot water irrigation sinew spiral. The shirt was washed and dried, then soaked in a soda ash solution for 20 to 30 minutes. I wrung it out of my panda spin dryer, so it's just barely damp. I also had the shirt turned inside out. I'm finding a place on the shirt where I'd like to start the spiral, and I'm using a fork to begin it. As I turn the fork one direction, I'm using my other hand to form additional folds in the shirt. To hold the folds in place for now, I'm going to put a couple of rubber bands around the shirt. I'd like to have a few white lines in the shirt. So I'm going to tie a couple sinew lines going through the spiral. The first line I'm going to put just about in the center of the spiral. When I begin pulling, I'm pulling slow so that I don't totally mess up all of my spiral design. Once you have a line of sinew tied around the shirt, you can take off the rubber bands if you want to, or you can just leave them on. Now I'm adding another sinew line on either side of this original line. After I have the shirt tied, I'm going to set it aside for a couple of days and let it totally dry out. I'm not an expert at hot water irrigation by any means. So far I've only done about four shirts. Since I'm not doing a whole lot of hot water irrigation, I haven't gone ahead and mixed my dye with the soda ash. Instead I'm just adding the dye powder on top like I would if I were going to ice dye the shirt. The first color that I'm going to use is Intense Blue from Pro Chemical and Dye. Then I'm going to skip a section and use Sapphire Blue from Pro Chemical and Dye. The next color is Lemon Lime from Pro Chemical and Dye. And then in the last section, I'm going to put lime green from Pro Chemical and Dye. Then over the top of the dye, I'm going to add a generous sprinkle of dry soda ash. Remember, I've already soaked the shirt in soda ash. 
So this is just some additional to make sure I don't wash out all the original soda ash. I'm going to do the hot water irrigation process outside. And since it's usually pretty windy where I live, I went ahead and put a little bit of the hot water that I'm going to use for the hot water irrigation down inside of a handheld spray bottle and I'm giving a gentle mist to the entire top of the shirt. That will help keep the dye from blowing around when I take it outside. After I posted the first shirt that I made with hot water irrigation, one of the viewers contacted me and suggested that I use or purchase a sous vide wand to heat up the water to use for the process. So I did purchase one and it works excellent for this. I set it at 160 degrees and allowed the water to heat up. Then I carefully poured it into a sprayer that I purchased from Walmart. And of course the water went ahead and cooled down some. So it wasn't 160 degrees when I put it on the shirt. It was probably closer to between 145 and 150 degrees. These temperatures are in Fahrenheit, by the way. I've pumped up the pressure in the sprayer and I'm just gently misting or spraying the top of the shirt. Then I'm allowing the water to soak in before I add more. Initially, I forgot to put a towel underneath the shirt. The first time I did hot water irrigation, I put a towel under the shirt to help pull the dye through to the back side, and that worked really well. So partway through this process, I went ahead and added a towel underneath the shirt. I continue the spraying process until the dye starts to dissolve on top of the shirt. As you can see, that lime green has quite a bit of undissolved dye. I was a little surprised by the lemon lime too. Both of these are newer colors for me. I just got them in this past week. And the lemon lime is pretty much splitting into yellow with little green flecks in it. Unintentionally, the shirt is at a partial incline. There was a little bit of a hump in the lawn where I had this tub sitting. And so it's sloping or slanting down toward the bottom of the screen. Since the side that was kind of at the top of the incline wasn't getting as much color, I went ahead and turned the shirt going the other direction in an attempt to get some of that color to flow down. When I turn the shirt over, you can see on the back side that most of the dye has gone ahead and gone through to the back. And the dye on the top of the shirt is dissolved and has gone through the shirt. I went ahead and left the shirt alone for a little while and came back probably an hour or so later and rinsed it out. I began rinsing in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. Then I untied the shirt and gradually warmed the water up to hot. I rinsed in the hot water to try to get out some of the excess dye that didn't bond with the shirt. When the water was almost clear, I threw the shirt in my washing machine along with some Dharma's textile detergent and washed it on a hot cycle. After the shirt was washed and dried, this is what it looks like. So what do you think? So I like the shirt. I think it turned out pretty cool. Initially, I was really disappointed that I ended up with so much white right in the middle of the spiral. But the more I've looked at it, the more I really like that white right there. I think it kind of adds to the design a little bit. I also like the new colors that I got from Pro Chemical and Dye. I've used sapphire blue before, but not from Pro Chemical and Dye. The lemon lime, lime green, and intense blue are all totally new colors to me though. And I think they work really well on this shirt and I really like the colors. I also like the white lines from the sinew. I think that adds a cool effect to the shirt. So overall, I'm really pleased with it. What do you guys think? Drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think about the shirt. As far as the hot water irrigation process went, the sous vide wand worked great to heat the water up. I didn't have to keep sticking a thermometer in to check my temperature because once it got to 160 degrees, it held it at that temperature for me and allowed me the time to go ahead and fill up my sprayer. 
I also think I got pretty good color saturation on most of the other areas of the shirt, except right in the middle. So if you've enjoyed this video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.